You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What are the security controls you need to put in place to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Hosts and today I'd like to talk with you about the SA family of FedRAMP controls. There are 22 controls in the SA family and you inherit one from Azure. SA stands for System and Services Acquisition. The first part of this family talks about having a separate budget line item for information security to ensure that it is a corporate priority. Then it gets into talking about what do you do to protect software that you purchase from a third party. You need to ensure that any software that you bring in you are securing correctly and you have enough information about it. On the screen now, I'm showing software that we bring into our environment from a number of different partners. And the kind of information we need to have from them are the system interfaces for their software, security settings we need to put in their software, ports and protocols they use, their high-level design specs, and the functional properties of the software. We also need to know that they've incorporated security into the design of their software and their engineering. To ensure that we have all these things, we have our software vendor partners sign an, an agreement that we've created called our Certification of Software Vendor document. Then next, we need to also ensure that our own software we develop in-house is also secure. When we're creating a new version of that software, we first put in a change control request ticket in which we say, why are we developing this new version and who has approved it? We then go ahead and start working on the code and put it into a change management system or a code management system called SVN. When the code's been developed, we then do static code scanning using Yaska and dynamic code scanning using Acunetics. When it's fully approved and it's good to go, we then put it into a test environment. And in there we do more vulnerability scanning to ensure that it's uh, to ensure it passes our Nessus vulnerability scanning. And then when all of that is done, we approve it through our configuration change request tool for uh, deployment in production. We then deploy it in production and it's good to go. That last set of the process is also followed by the new software that we bring in, doing the deployment and test with the vulnerability scanning there before we do it in production. These are the main aspects of the SA family of FedRAMP controls. If you have any questions about SA or FedRAMP, please contact us. And please have a look at the other videos in this series and let us know what you think. Thank you very much.